my channel so today I'm doing the Bratz challenge and this challenge has been floating around on YouTube and Instagram for the past two months and it took me a while to get on it um, because I couldn't really decide what Bratz doll I wanted to do what look or anything and I knew I needed someone not someone but a certain doll that looked like me as far as dark long hair and a lot of the Bratz dolls had like brown hair, like brown, blonde, and it just wasn't working for me. So I finally found this look. Also, Amanda Ensing had did this look. So this is kind of inspired by herself, um, along with the Bratz doll. I don't know the name of it. Um, but this is the look I recreated. Let me just show you guys very quickly. And I'll also place it on this side or this side of the screen so you guys can see the difference. I hope I did a good job. Anywho, if you guys want to see how I created this Brad's doll challenge makeup look, then please keep watching. Okay, so I don't know the name of this Brad doll, but she has two pins on each side of her head by the forehead area and it's also curled so that's why i curled my hair like this and she also has a choker that has rhinestones or gems on it so this by the way i got from fashion nova um but yeah so first things first we're going to do a cut crease so it looks like in her crease she has black and then the lid is like a frosty white color so i'm gonna put the photo somewhere on the screen so for the eyes i'm gonna go in with the kat von d shade and light eye contour palette i had this palette for a pretty long time so um let me find my brush so for her crease um it's like a grayish black tone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this shade from the palette and I'm just going to buff that in my crease. And you kind of just want to like wing it out because their eyes are really like cat-like. So now I'm going to go in with this black shade. Actually, no, I'm not going to go with that shade yet. I'm going to cut the crease first. And I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 0 0.5. So for the lid, I'm going to take this white shade from the palette and just pack this all over where I cut the crease. After I cut the crease, I'm going to take the black shade now with a pencil brush and I'm going to use that to deepening up the crease to add some definition because like I said the crease has some gray and some black in it and now we're just adding some of that gray from the palette and blending the crease out So she has no inner corner highlights. So for liner, I'm gonna go in with a Tarte Tarte's gel liner that I always use to do my wing. So 
So for mascara, I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So now I'm going to do the other eye, pop on some lashes, and then I'll finish it off with the face makeup. So for lashes, I'm using, I don't know how to say this, Hua Pan Eye Makeup Collection, yeah, um, eyelashes, this I got from Amazon, it looks like this, and then you open it, and it has two different sets, plus a mirror, I'm going to be using the first set, because it's kind of fluffy, so while the lash glue is getting tacky, I'm going to apply some shadow under my eyes or my lash line I'm gonna go in with the gray shade and then just put that under here then I'm going to take some of the liner and put this on my waterline so I'm gonna put on my lashes Okay, so now the lashes are on for blush. She has like a really, really bright pink blush, very intense. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Radiant Blush Kit. And I'm going to take these two shades. Tap it. Now for this look, it's really intense. So I'm gonna put on a lot. so that way the highlight is more metallic okay. so for lips I'm using MAC Cosmetics lip pencil in Night Moth because she has a very um, plum purplish undertone dark vampy lip so this would be perfect for that and her lip 
lip is also very, you know, puckered. So I'm going to drag under the lip a lot. Then the top of her lips are very heart shaped. More heart shaped by her cupid's bowl than mine. I still want to follow my natural lip shape but because my lips are pretty wide but I'm still going to make it look puckered and also she has it dragged out a little bit on the side So, looks like this. Honestly, I feel like I have clown lips right now. Um, so I'm gonna go over that with Vamp Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Bailey Hills. This is like a brownish red. Um, and just... I kind of want to clean up. I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the lips just because I feel like the lips is like the main focus of the look. I'm going to clean it up with some foundation. I'm spending a lot of time on the lips. Um, now I'm gonna go in with Sad Girl by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is gonna give it that like wine shade. And really quickly, I'm going to set my face one more time. So, their lips are very... So low-key, I feel like I have to be like... So this is a completed Brad's doll challenge makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Also, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be alert whenever I do post a new video. It will be the bell button by the subscribe button on my channel. Follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram. My Instagram is the real Shayna and my Snapchat is the real Shay X O. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.